Hello everyone, it's Nick Lawson with CDC Take Charge Software. And this is our final lesson on building a King James Bible Reader in Alpha Software. On our previous lesson when we left off, we had created a uh, range for building record values for our reader. But we didn't fill in all the code. So what we're going to do now is actually look at how it works with the code completed. All right, so I bring up my form, I select range, and it displays my object, which allows me to search by book, chapter, or chapter range, verse, and verse range. So let's go ahead and enter in a uh, chapter, or a book, I'm sorry. We'll do Exodus. And we want beginning chapter 01, and we want the ending chapter to be 01. We want the verse to be... 05 and we're not doing a range there so let's run it there you go we have Exodus uh, chapter 1 verse 5 and there's the text for it okay so now let's say that we want uh, to do chapters 1 and just verse 5 in chapter 2 so we change our value or any value range for chapter click run now here you go, we have everything in one, go all the way down, and then after the last verse in chapter one, we go to chapter two, but we only display verse five. Pretty simple. Now we can do the same thing here. We can make that a range, and let's run that. And now when it gets down to the end, chapter two shows one through five. Pretty simple. We'll look at how that code runs in just a moment. The other things that we've done on this form is we've gone ahead and created our print report, um, the code that moves it to the bookmark selector, and the email selection. Now let's look at our bookmark manager so that we can see what we've done there. Basically, this form is exactly how it was uh, what the last time you saw it, with the exception that we've added the code to our buttons. So save is very simple. Uh, export, when you select it, it allows you to take and tell it what you want to export, the bookmark, uh, my thoughts, or both the bookmark and my thoughts. And where do you want to export it to? Now, that code uses a dialog to take an or an X dialog box to take and present that option and we're going to look at that here in a minute as well and then the print just basically prints the report that I created for it so let's take and look at how all this code works now on the uh, bookmark manager we'll look at the export selection and if I go to right click on it and the on push event here it is it's button 3 and I have to set my variables uh, and I set them as shared because once the dialog closes I want those values to be used outside of the X dialog box. I create a blue frame which my first one is export what and that gives me my choices of what do I want to export three choices. My second blue frame is where do I want to export it to. And then down here um, we take and say that if the button uh, uh, value equals continue then we set the choices from the user and we end that code then <clears throat> we take and uh, build our exports now if it's a PDF file plain text rich text HTML we basically just take and create a report and use the save as function to save it in the format that we want that's it however when you're making it the body of an email you need to take and do something different. Here, we open up the uh, bookmark table. We use the fetch go to to go to the record number that we're on in that table. Once there, we set the value of X body to equal the bookmark text if it's bookmark only, the my thoughts text if it's my thoughts, or both if both is selected by the user. 
then we attach it to our external email client uh, and away it goes pretty straightforward now when we're on the King James Bible reader we do a slightly different process here since we're only using the value that's in the reader itself we simply take and set the uh, report send for the uh, values on the reader and we send it as a PDF file now unless you have set up the internal email client in Alpha Software it will report send will automatically attempt to send it to the users external email that they have set up on their system so in this case this works fine because we're doing a very simple thing so that's pretty much it now we talked about everything that we were going to do in at the beginning of this session or lesson on building a Bible reader and we've accomplished all of that um, we created our tables uh, we got the values from the Bible uh, or from uh, the web and wrote them into DBF tables um, we allow the user to have various volumes to read out of the, bo the Bible using our volume list we allow them to have various searches and finds of the Bible using our conditional object versus verses where we can set books chapters or the individual verse then we have search for keyword which allows you to take and search for keywords or phrases and finally our new one which is range that's pretty much it very simple I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson uh, now what we're going to do next as a lesson is work with graphics in Alpha Software. Uh, typically, uh, graphics are not a strong suit for Alpha Software uh, development platform, but if you take your time, you use the object's properties, and you use the timer events on the forms to manage the animation, you can do just about anything you can do with any other program. Uh, it's totally up to you and the effort you want to put into it. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot and have a great day and I look forward to uh, working with you guys again.